Hi guys, on a retro tip here, I'm going to do a quick uh, tour of my handhelds. Um, you've probably seen a few of them if you watch the game room tour, but I think I've got quite a few since then. I can't remember what I got and what you know what I had before, so I'm just going to run through all the handhelds I've got. Um, I don't really know where to start. We'll start over here. Uh, some newer stuff. Um, we got a PSP 2003 model. Um, I've had loads of PSPs, loads of them broke, and I had the original one first, and um, yeah, gone through quite a few of them. Um, we've got a Nintendo 3DS, a red one here. That's like the original 3DS. Um, really good system. Uh, really really good games really fun I never had a DS before I got the 3DS so I kind of got it to play you know DS games as well um, and I've subsequently got a ton of DS's because they really dropped in price um, but yeah I absolutely love the 3DS I was thinking about getting a Vita but it just doesn't have the games um, that the Nintendo consoles have you know Nintendo always make the best consoles without a doubt um, we got a few loose DS, I guess DS lights here. Um, we've got the lime green one. Uh, the I think that's turquoise. It's like a pale blue anyway. And then we got a white and we got a black. There, they're all loose. Um, we got Fox Sega Game Gear. I I did like the Game Gear back in the day. But it was a bit of a disappointment. I had the Game Boy originally, the original Game Boy, and I thought, oh, you know, I loved Sega, and uh, and it was color, and it was like, oh, you know, it's going to be amazing. But it just didn't live up to the, you know, the standard of, of the Game Boy. Um, the games weren't great. I mean, essentially, the games they're all just ports of Master System games, um, and yeah, the battery life was awful. So it kind of, you know, I did like it, but it wasn't as good as the Game Boy for sure. Uh, here we got the Game Boy original Game Boy, really, really good price I got on that, eight, you know, a few years ago. Box is mint condition. This is probably my absolute favourite all-time handheld system. It's just amazing. I absolutely loved it when I was a kid. Zelda: Link's Awakening and Tetris and Mario One and Two. It's just, it's just unbelievable how good it is uh, still now you know and we're what 25 years on um, here we got uh, the quick shot supervision which you've probably seen in the room tour um, really really random little system that my mate had when we were kids um, and he sort of sold it to me recently um, it's not a great system it's like I think it's green and black, sort of similar to the Game Boy. The games are shit, basically. Um, right, then we've got uh, SPs. Uh, you know, SPs are definitely, I think, like I said, the Game Boy original is my favorite handheld system. But for design, the SP is absolutely the best designed handheld ever made. I'd be surprised if they ever beat this. It's just perfect. It looks fantastic. Um, it's tiny. It actually fits in your pocket, un unlike every other handheld on the planet. The, you know, you'd have to have a giant clown's pocket, no pun intended, to fit it in. Um, yeah, I absolutely love the design of when these came out. I really, really loved it. I didn't have a Game Boy Advance, the original one at the time. I didn't really like the design um, and it didn't have a backlight at all um, I don't have any of the uh, AGS 101 models um, sadly um, they're all 001's but I would like to get one at some point uh, so we got black we got silver and blue loose ones there then we've got um, the limited edition Famicom Game Boy Advance SP this is probably one of my favourite consoles, you know, it, on the whole, in my collection. Now, you know, sadly it comes with a really, really depressing story. Um, I actually pre-ordered one of these when they came out from Japan. Um, absolutely loved it. 
kept it in really good nick. The box was absolutely mint condition. And then before I started collecting, I sold it off. And I, I ended up selling it for like 30 quid on eBay or something ridiculous. And I remember that it was just before Christmas and the guy messaged me saying, oh, we received the Game Boy, thanks. And my son's gonna love it for Christmas. So I thought, no, you're gonna give it to your kid. And you know, it's like a limited edition, really nice, rare SP. And the kid's probably gonna destroy it. So I was gutted, um, but since then I did buy another one but sadly the box isn't in great shape but the console is like it, it looks like it's literally never been touched it's absolutely perfect and it, it's gorgeous it's got like the pearl colored top and the red underneath and it's obviously um, designed to look like the Famicom um, which is the uh, which was brought over to Europe and America as the NES um, and they changed the, the design obviously um, then we got my GP2X Wiz, which is, um, you know, it's like a little, uh, if I can get it out, little console that plays emulators and what have you, off an SD card. Um, it's got all, you know, it's got every system you could think of basically, and it's got MAME and Arcade and the Capcom uh, CPS and everything. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool system. It's good to have on the go. It's really small, and it's you know, you've got a couple of thousand games at your fingertips when you take that out. Uh, then we've got DSIs. We've got two DSIs: a boxed black one and a boxed red one. There, uh, the black one's box isn't perfect, so I might be looking to switch that out at some point. Um, Right, then we've got a uh, DS Lights box. So we've got a silver one, which sadly has a bit of pen on the box, but otherwise it's okay. Um, and we've got a pink one boxed, which is in good nick actually, the box. I think, I've, I think actually I bought the box uh, separately and I had the, had the console loose. Uh, right, we've got a grape Game Boy Color box. Another great system. And we've got the, what's this colour called? It's like the clear purple uh, Game Boy Advance, whatever, whatever colour that's called, I don't know. Um, not a big fan of the original Game Boy Advance. Shit. Um, then we've got a uh, purple original Game Boy Advance here. Uh, we have a, I guess that's pink. Um, Game Boy Color. We've got the teal Game Boy Color. Uh, this is my only Game Boy Pocket, the yellow Game Boy Pocket. I would like to get a few more of the Game Boy Pockets, um, especially a couple of box ones. But yeah, that's it's a nice little, uh, nice little console. I think I got that in the charity shop actually, uh, really cheap. Uh, we have uh, an original Game Boy Yellow, and then last we have uh, the, I think that's clear purple or the clear grey uh, Game Boy Color. Um, so that's it, that's all my handhelds currently guys, so I'll see you next time, cheers.